Right, there's lots to catch up on. Lizzie's on FaceTime, so apologies if there's any noise on the side. They can't see you. Um, I'm on my last injection. This is my 41st injection. Um, I, I can't show it. I don't know how YouTube is about like injection injections and stuff, so I'm just not going to show it. Um, the last one, and then I can close it. There we go. Uh, done. Blood thinning injections are a pain in the ass. Oh, ow. So it's a Wednesday evening as I'm recording this, 7 o'clock on a Wednesday evening. Physio is on Friday at midday, but I can take the brace off tomorrow because it's at the six week point. So I'm going to take the brace off tomorrow, but I'm not going to wait there or anything until I've had physio. I'll record a video tomorrow of me taking the brace off and kind of show you how my leg's looking. Because um, it's been a little bit chaotic. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm not in my room. Um, so yeah, there's, there's lots to tell. Um, yes, yeah, so that's last inoxaparin injection. Brace comes off tomorrow and recovery officially ends on Friday and uh, rehab begins. So that's exciting. So we are at the magical six week point. Um, Brace comes off today, physio starts tomorrow, so very exciting. Um, I've got the brace on, I've slept in the brace for the last night. Um, yeah, and I'll take that off now, and then I will explain kind of how these last six weeks have been. Um, but yeah, let's get this off. If I do this, it's actually a bit easier. Um, I took the stocking off last night. I've had that on for six weeks as well. Oh, dear me. Right. That is now off. Put it there. Um, I'll see if I can show you on this angle. So I've got this one here, one there, there's two here, and then you can see the one, the big one kind of here. Um, yeah, uh, these have healed quite nicely. Um, they're very smooth, like there's no bumps or anything. Uh, the stitches stayed in for quite a while, um, but that's, I imagine it's because I wasn't washing, um, because I couldn't get any, any of it wet. Um, they just didn't dissolve. Oh. Yeah, so, um, oh, it's been a whole journey. Um, I'm currently here for rehab. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of here for the next, hopefully not too long, next few weeks, just focusing on rehab. And then hopefully I'll be able to return back to my studies. So the past six weeks, um, retrospectively, they have flown by. Uh, however, it was not fun. Uh, Non-weight bearing is is a bit of a pain. You, you do get used to it. Um, you do get used to it. Like the crutches, it's second nature after the first week, I'd say. Um, but it's not nice not being able to carry anything. Um, you know, it's a bit... So I'm not gonna say demoralizing, but you know, it's, it's it'll be nice to be able to walk and carry things and and whatnot without your shoulders dying or other people helping you. I mean, I know it's very important to ask for help and accept help, but sometimes it's almost just a bit like, oh, 
I shouldn't need help for this. Um, but that's that's yeah, that's fine. That will get better um, as I gain kind of the ability to walk back, and then I can carry things alongside that. I don't know how long I'll be on the crutches with walking, because uh, obviously I won't be able to know how to walk straight away. My brain has essentially forgotten how to walk, so <laughs> we have to. Uh, I think a lot of it, as much as it is physical rehab as well, obviously, you know, getting the muscle mass back and everything, it's also the proprioception rehabilitation and kind of learning how to use your leg again. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I don't know if I can show you, but the the, the loss in mass on my legs, oh, let's see if I can show you. So, obviously this leg has been the one carrying everything, um, and yeah, you can see there's quite, there's quite a bit of atrophy there. Um, thankfully, because of the amount of training I did beforehand, I still have some muscle mass on my legs. So that's a positive. And I'm hoping once I get back into the flow of training and getting that uh, hypertrophy moving, uh, it should muscle mass should fly back up. Some of you might be interested as to how I got through these past six weeks regarding the limited mobility and obviously how active I usually am. Uh, I'm usually in the gym five, six days a week. And the main, the main way I stayed sane is your support network. Um, so Lizzie, my girlfriend, um, parents, all of my family, they've really kind of kept in contact and held my head high. Uh, and Lizzie's family as well, they've, they've helped whenever we've, we've gone there. And uh, they've been in contact and you know, people ringing me, messaging me, it's been really nice. Um, and when I'm on my own, uh, I have been studying. Uh, I've still got the university module ongoing, so I've been able to kind of do that whenever I've got kind of nothing else to focus on. I, I can do that. It's still not in for two weeks, so I've still got time to do that. And, uh, and to be honest, gaming. Gaming and sports. So I've watched all the sport. Um, never thought I'd be into <laughs> premiership football as as I am now, um, and the NBA Finals is starting soon. Uh, it's game five between Boston and Miami tonight, so we'll see who who plays the Nuggets. Uh, I'm thinking Miami will win, but anyway. And gaming, I have sunk over way over a hundred hours into Overwatch, Overwatch Two. Um, that's been the main game because Lizzie plays it as well, so we we've been able to play it together. Um, and I, I think it's just my brain having that kind of linear thing, something to improve on, something to get better at. I think it's it's become a bit of a focal point for for me trying to get better at something because um, I think I always need that thing to aim for. Uh, and I'm hoping that rehab and getting back to the numbers I was lifting before and then get back into running, that will be what I focus on and that will be my drive, but, but we'll see. Yeah, so that is the brace coming off today um, and the stocking, brace and stocking. So I can now wear a pair of socks without my feet overheating, which would be lovely. Um, tomorrow is first session of physio, that's at midday, so I'll record a little update after that. And uh, let's, uh, let's get this show on the road. Right, so I have just got back from physio. As you can see, I am stood up. Um, it feels weird, very, very weird. Um, it's not easy, like it still feels quite strange. However, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Look at the no crutches. Still feels weird, still probably looks weird. But I can walk now. Um, I'll still use the crutches for any kind of long walks, uh, kind of uneven ground type thing, just because I don't want to risk anything like that. But around the house and kind of short journeys, kind of to and from a car, no crutches. Yes. 
um, been given exercises to strengthen up my quads, calves, um, and like the hamstrings as well. Just get that leg moving, get those muscles activated again. Um, so yes, it's being treated. So the uh, the plan with meniscal injuries uh, is kind of more strict than ACL, and because I had ACL and meniscal damage. Um, there we're going to go off the meniscal one because it's just a it's a stricter program um stricter rehab type thing it's a lot more kind of protected and slower um but that's fine you know build those foundations and then everything will be everything will be good um i don't really know what else to say um i'll be in the gym hopefully in the next kind of six weeks at some point um get on the bike as well start cycling that'll be that'll be really exciting and i think the main one for me personally will be when i can run again i don't enjoy running at all but i haven't been able to run well since i hurt myself since september so that's like nine months nearly so that'll be massive um when i can start going on a treadmill and doing some running and That'd be crazy. Um, but yeah, so this is a little six week update. I, uh, it was six weeks yesterday, so the brace is off. Um, I'll show you, I'll tilt the camera down and show you the walking. Apologies for the state of the room. Um, I haven't actually been able to put any of my stuff away because I couldn't do this movement. Um, but now I can, so maybe I can put some stuff away. Uh, however, I will just show you my walking, maybe. Still a bit shaky, I'm trying to get that heel down and try and come off the toes. But, no more crutches. Well, hopefully. So that's the six week update. Crutches are off, braces are gone. Um, starting to weight bear, starting to get that muscle back. Um, the atrophy isn't actually that bad. Um, it's almost as though I have kind of like a normal, like average leg now compared to a, a trained leg. Um, but I'm hoping it comes back, you know, nice and strong, comes back nice and quickly. And I can get back to lifting some of the numbers I was before. But we'll see. Hope you look forward to the rest of the journey. I certainly look forward to getting some of my ability back and definitely getting the strength and size back that is something that will be amazing but honestly i've never been so grateful to be able to walk